mistake to crown. Make my mama proud. I can keep going too. Please do. I can keep going. Uh, let's see, is there anything else? Okay, uh, let's talk about family and relationships and stuff like that. What's that? Is that my time? Okay, there's only 15 seconds. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. Um, because my last name is hard to pronounce and very Italian, and uh, growing up people always thought uh, my family was in the mob. I know, I know, how racist, right? Um, and it wasn't just because my father's from Sicily, it's because he was missing a whole finger, never wanted to tell anybody why he was missing the finger, and worked in waste management. So, <laughs> is he in the mob? I don't really know. We'll find out. Okay, so on deck we have the lovely and talented Lori Peck, but coming to the stage, you know him, he's here, he's already on the stage, Joey Miha. Yeah, it's me here, no, I'm not offended at all. I didn't learn to pronounce it properly till college, I was lazy and went mahia, but it's me here anyway. No, I don't have a set, I do have a set about my last name, but it's kind of disturbing, I'm not going to get into it. What song was that, Danderson? Uh, I'm That Bitch. I'm That Bitch. I'm at karaoke that. Karaoke starts at 9 at the Shanghai Room. <laughs> I used to work in marketing. I can't stop. I have Stockholm Marketing Syndrome. Do you think Bill Cosby invented the Jello Shot? <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, but, yeah. All right, great minds. Uh, <laughs> I think, yeah, because we don't really know who invented the Jell-O shot, by the way. It's actually, they think some musician, uh, this guy that's like a combination of Frank Sinatra and Weird Al, if you can picture that, from like the 30s or something. Really smart. Tom Lehrer, I think is his name. Okay, I'm just gonna plug dead comedians now. This is my plugging dead comedian set. Now I think Cosby invented the jello shot. I think that was like 1.0 before the, it was alpha or beta. Alright. Kobe Bryant, happy January 26th, or sad Jerry, January 26th, really. Um, respect to Kobe Bryant, obviously. Tragedy and all that uh, that happened. So it kind of went from Kobe to like Kobe. And I think now we're st we honor him and we still do the Kobe, hopefully, when you shoot in a trash can. Um, yeah, but I'm a little mad at Kobe Bryant right now, which is a strange thing. Uh, on this April Fool's Day, 2023, <laughs> I feel like it's a monitor. It's trying to trick you in the thing it's April 1st. But in the year of 2024, Kobe's year, it is strange to say these words that I'm mad at Kobe Bryant. I am a Shaquille O'Neal fan. He was my father figure growing up. After daddy left at nine, I'm not going to get into that part. But I'd have to be an asshole if I'm holding on to the stupid Shaq-Kobe rivalry, right? Uh, I'm mad at a digital Kobe Bryant that exists in my NBA 2K video game. Anyone else? Someone once shouted, Fucking me too! And I said that. And I was like, I knew it was going to be you. I knew you were the 2 kid player. Uh, yeah. Weird feeling. I am in therapy though, and I'm told my feelings are valid. So here we are. Mad at Digital Kobe. Why I'm mad? I had an incredible team in Orlando. The Orlando Magic, the fake Orlando Magic, because I'm an adult simulating alternate 90s basketball realities. Very fun to do. You can have Larry Bird and LeBron on the same team. It's ridiculous. I don't do that. I don't mess with history. I like to keep it pure. But I did have a ridiculous team in Orlando this one time. Okay, I had Kobe. I had Shaq. I had Manu Bull back, backing up Shaquille O'Neal. Dwayne Wade, Penny Hardaway. I can list the entire roster, but I'm going to stop there. Great team. And Kobe leaves us for free agency. 
<laughs> Kobe's like, I, I need more, more digital fake money. It's a currency worse than crypto. NBA fake 2K dollars, he just leaves our team. Very sad. That's the most emotion I've felt in a while. <laughs> Shout out to Happy Pills. I'm up in the loft, specifically Alonzo Mornings loft. Okay, too much basketball coming in for Seattle. But with, like, with Digital Kobe, I'm awful. I'm actually incredible at free throws IRL, 80 to 90% uh, most days, you know. But in the game, I suck at free throws, so I clank a couple with Digital Kobe. And there's a chat GPT child in the audience that shouts, He missed them both? <laughs> Like, I'm 80% of my backyard. Kobe cannot deliver in this clutch scenario. So he used to just be able to be a legend, die, write a book, leave your legacy. But now with the advent of video games, you're forever chastised by a child actor. That's all. Also, a really strange fact about this, I have four seconds to tell it. Uh, Officer Mejia took the pictures of the Kobe incident, and then he had a trainee named Joey. My name is Joey Mejia. I should probably stop it in that joke. All right, let me buy it. Woo! One more time for Joey and killed it. All right, so on deck we have Robbie Schroeder. 